Aries, I am so glad to be on your reading today. I want to get the most positive love readings ever for you guys. Because um, we do need a little diversion from this dumpster fire of a world we live in, right? So we might as well just get right into it. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you for being here. I love you for it. And you will notice, my returning subscribers, that there's going to be a little something different today. I am going to go over how you and your person feel about one another um, and the overall energy is between you and whoever you're asking for. And then I'm going to post an extended on Ribbon Experiences where I'm going to go over the outcome and um, and a few other things and some real advice moving forward. So um, it's going to be two different readings, really, um, but the same topic. And um, you have to pay for one and the other one you get for free. Uh, and you can join Ribbon um, and join the uh, subscription service. It's only 20 bucks a month and you will save 10% off your first month if you use code NEW10. And uh, I'd love for you to join me over there on that subscription service. If you would prefer just to buy the or just rent the um, one extended, that's cool too. You can do that. Um, you will save money on the subscription though, and the subscription will give you access to all my videos and some um, exclusive content just for Ribbon. Uh, so I do suggest the subscription. However, if you want to just rent the extended, that's cool too. All right, that's new. Um, I'm hoping to make this intro a little shorter, but it looks like it might be a little longer. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Um, thank you, thank you for coming in, and please hit that subscribe button and the like button. All right, so this is going to be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Uh, cross watchers, you are welcome here. Just, I tend to get a little rough sometimes, so just watch out. All right, and the energies may be flip-flopped, okay? So, um, because these are generals. I read for everybody in my wellness center, and we can hook up on Zoom, or you can get a video response reading through Wissio. Again, check that description box below. Also, check it for thegreenwitchhome.com, where you can get some wonderful witchy products. All right, my beautiful, beautiful subscribers, friends, Aries, and Aries lovers, what are we going to talk about today? Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so mo it be. All right, what's up for my Aries and their person? How is Aries feeling right now? Ooh, hoo, hoo. like a boss bitch, basically. Uh, you are the high priestess. Harness mystic power. Okay, so this is all from a feminine energy, so I may be talking to um, a lot of female Aries right now, or even if you're a male Aries, coming from a more feminine um, place in your manifestations. Um, and what I mean by that is, so when we manifest from a masculine place, that's when we get really specific, right? Like, we want $300,000 next week, you know? Whereas when we manifest from a feminine perspective, it's more like, okay, I'll take 20 to 30,000, you know, and it's a more of a range, like it's more broad. So whether you're male or female, you can manifest from either place. And um, I'm learning a lot about that through the my study of human design. And I definitely suggest that any of my subscribers also take a look at human design. It, I'm finding that it's just as important. Um, and I incorporate it even like as my birth chart, I'm finding. Like I really do love it. Um, and so please check that out. I should put that in the description box below, how to get your human design type. Um, and I'd love to know your human design type. I'm a projector myself. So um, if you're a projector, let me know, projector gang. Um, ooh, let's see. All right, so there's something about, but okay, so anyway. Getting back to whatever I was talking about here with the high priestess, it does seem that, um, you know, you're in a real psychic energy too, though. This is my she's got gifts or he's got gifts card. And, um, but it may be like you're a little scared of them. And whatever messages you're getting about this person that you're asking about, um, it may scare you a little, and it may also turn you on a little bit. I mean, that's Aries energy for you. Um, and just make sure that you're not completely overwhelmed, you know, by by the messages that you're getting, 
whether they're about this person or about life in general. Um, I know I resonate with this overwhelmed energy just because of current events, you know, and some of you may be feeling the same as well. Um, I can totally see that too. Like I'm totally like, oh, you can see a video I just posted real quick about my thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, here yeah, the white witch. Um, so for you, it's, she is my alchemist in a lot of ways. Uh, she uses herbs and plants. She's quite smart, you know? So Aries, you're really, really smart. You may identify as a witch, um, or a healer with these three cards here too, for sure. But just don't be afraid. Oh my, look who showed up. And okay. So from my point of view, it's like this. Look at these two. Aries. Are you bringing in a divine counterpart? What are you doing? Oh, my God. So your person is your match. Whoever it is you're asking about. Look at these two. They are so sexy. All right. And they are looking right at each other. Lordy, Lordy. You definitely could be dealing with another Aries. Um, good luck. <laughs> uh, Aries or Taurus. Um, wow, it's kind of funny though. Look at there's like they both have the the high priest and the high priestess fell out like this. Now I use this deck for every single reading I did. I've done six or seven readings just this morning. So ooh, did you see that orb? Okay, could be dust, but I think it's an orb. Anyway, um these two are look wait, it's this way actually on my on the table. These two are looking at each other, and then you've got the horned people. Right, like you are mirroring like crazy. Um, I wish I wish I could I wish I was tech savvy enough to like have the whole so you guys could see the cards or how like you know, cooler people than me know how to have that screen on screen where you can see the cards, but this looks beautiful. Um and it already and I've got three cards. Speaking of alchemy, okay. Um and then to match your white witch, you've got the magic guardian. This is some divine counterpartery. If you don't believe in divine counterparts, it's soulmates. Um, this person is manifesting you. Uh, they definitely could be manifesting from the more masculine place. Like they want their Aries specifically. And you're like, oh, I'll take an Aries or a Taurus, <laughs> you know, or whatever. And, and like, it's funny. Like, and I do think this might be a new person for you. Or, I mean, it could be a past person. We'll see. Choose your past. All right. Wow. Aries, what the F? What the F is going on here with the high priest and the high priestess coming out? I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> All right, I'm an Aries sun, Venus, and Mars. So I don't know about y'all. I don't know. I don't know what this is about. All right, you guys tell me what's going on in your lives. Oh my God. First cut out. Four Wands. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Twin Flames on this channel. I don't want to, Spirit. Why are you making me do this? Seriously, I avoid the Twin Flame thing because, okay, I've got to tell you, I have, so I work for Hotlines, like YouTube is clearly not my only job. Um, and it's not my only tarot gig at all. And I see a lot of disturbing shit out there on the on the psychic streets, okay, and people killing themselves over twin flames and things like, or trying to, and it's, it's so, it's just, it's wrong, it's not, you know, but then I do see some real genuine twin flame connections out there, and, and so, you know, like the guy that called me today, so I can't, I, it's so hard, I struggle, okay, I struggle with the twin flame thing, if you believe in it, Right on, this could be a twin flame reading all the way, but you are bringing in, look at these two. This is stability, happiness. I mean, the four of wands is an Aries card too. Holy, just, I don't know, sorry. I feel like I'm going on a tangent. And like I said, I'm sorry if my readings are a little off today. Four of cups, four, four came out with the Hierophant and the seven of cups, wow. All right, so you feel like this person like, you're really confused. You may be confused about the Twin Flame journey, if you're even on it. Uh, you know, what you do know is that you're looking for real commitment and happiness. And you're opening up your options. It's almost like, 
don't be afraid to miss opportunities. Although while this this guy is looking at all these golden, you know, just be careful. Don't focus on the wrong person, Aries. Because it's like, look, this cup out here, I finally got this freaking card. This one's got a live bird on it, and he's got all these golden birds down here. There is a level of, like, him not looking at the coolest cup there, which is the one with the real bird in it, you know? And then you've got the Hierophant and the Seven seven of Cups. It's like you're opening up options for, for commitment and using your spirituality, definitely manifesting something here. I do think that you feel, but if I'm going to take this as how does Aries feel about this person, here it is. You feel like your twin flame gave up on you and gave up on the journey. And now you're not even really sure like what's, what's going on um i do think that you're giving into some illusions here and i think you want to create more options i don't know are you even interested in your high priest here at all i don't think you are honestly i don't think you're paying much attention to him and i think that's all right him or her you know i i think that it's I mean, I don't know. That's what Spirit's saying. But I do think it's ultimately leading to a little bit more illusion and confusion over the Twin Flame journey. And so maybe it is time to step off for a minute, you know, and clear your head. I think that's a good idea. All right. What's up with this? How does this person feel about Aries? How does this person feel about Aries? They are a high priest to the high priestess. I mean, holy smokes. Queen of Swords, Aries, you may have dumped them. Um, so you feel completely confused about how they feel about you. You feel sort of out in the cold, like you missed opportunities at some real commitment. This person sees you as someone who's Cut them out. And you, you may have run away from love, Aries. Um, what? A little bit. Let me see. Six of Wands and the Emperor. Well, this person is absolutely... Like, they can still see victory with you, even though you cut them out, Aries. Because there you are. You could definitely be dealing with two Aries here. And it may not be two Aries suns. It could be like an Aries sun and someone with an Aries moon um, or something like that where, you know, so check people's charts. But I think they see you, Aries, as someone who has been hurt but is on their way to victory. And I have a feeling that they want you back, but they're just not really sure how to approach it. Ooh, justice. Whoa. Whoa, they want balance with you. I think because they see that you're heading towards victory, though. Like, there's something about you doing really well, which is making them look at you funny. Oh, oh, yeah. Like I said, they don't know how. They don't know how to tell you that they want you back. Are they going to tell you? We'll see in the extended. Um... Right now, it looks like they are juggling how to tell you or if they're even going to tell you how they feel. Woo, there is a lot of trapped up in the melon energy right now, Aries. That's not easy to, um, doesn't seem very easy to digest at this point. I'm feeling pulled to the cat deck. I'm not sure why, but I am. So. Given that I have to tape the extended after this, I am probably, this is probably the only reading I'm going to get done today. I am feeling a little, and this reading may be a little wackadoo because of it. Ooh, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. You're not beating around the bush about wanting a new beginning and want, being willing to start over. You are fully, fully honest in your expressions. It's what I think you're... Um, you're confused about how you feel about this person. You're not even sure. I don't even... Aries, I'm not even sure if you like this person very much. Even though you feel this really strong connection to them, I don't think you like them. Oh. And it's like, how, how, how can I like have such a strong connection 
with someone I don't even like. Like as a person, like, ooh, that is mean. And yet, why do I still keep thinking about this person? Why do they keep popping into my head? You don't get it. You're having a really hard time moving on from something and you don't understand why. And you don't even know why you want a second chance with this person. <laughs> wow. Aries, I, yeah, you let me know if you're, I mean, these are the messages I'm getting. Um, you please tell me. But for some reason, this person, they make your heart go boom, boom, boom. You're conflicted. Yeah. I think you, you are not sure how you feel at all. And you're afraid that if you take this person back or you let someone back into your life, that it will result in conflict and fighting in the way that it was before. In Aries, as we know, our, our biggest struggle is, is anger. I mean, it really can be. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yep. I do think devil energy and some weird shit is causing you to be all up in your head. So watch that. Really watch that. Um, and that's a personal message for me too. Like the, this outside energy that I'm seeing happen around me in the world is making me feel really like, like I could, I could punch somebody, you know, like I'm so mad, you know, that like how the world is right now. And, um, Aries, you may be feeling the same thing and, you know, that's devil energy. That's low vibrational energy causing conflict. And that's definitely playing a part here. So definitely cleanse your energy as much as you can. Take some time. That's why I'm only doing this one reading today. And then I'm going to spend some time with my daughter and try and raise my vibration because I am, that is happening to me too, Aries. And we are not cute when we're angry. Okay. No matter how many times that toxic ex told you how cute you were when you were mad, you're not. You're evil when you're mad. And let's just not go there, okay? So bring it down. Bring it down. Don't let this devil energy get the better of you. Yeah, I do think that this person feels like emotional expression is a bit of a burden. Or that you might be a little hard to talk to. <laughs> I've heard that before. I'm, I've grown since then. And I've tried to become easier to talk to about my own personal shit. Like, please, clients are like, blah, blah, blah. they tell me everything. And it's when I'm not emotionally involved in it. But if I'm emotionally involved in it, I might become a little harder to talk to about. And Aries, you that might be something that you, you are having a harder time with too. Like, that's a part of you that like you get, we are notoriously stubborn. We are the fighters, you know? So soften your approach to this person because I think that you might be demonizing them a little bit, okay? Which can happen to the best of us. If someone hurts you, you start thinking they're fucking evil, you know? When they're not necessarily evil, they're just trapped in their head. And we do overuse the term narcissist. I think a lot of people have narcissistic tendencies versus being full-blown narcissists and we tend to instead of like trying to you know help that person not deal with it or if they were raised by a narcissist forget it they're going to present like a narcissist too two of pentacles twice this person's so stuck up in their head but they love you they are they are in love with you and they're having a hard time making a decision on whether to come to you or not they really are. So I'm going to see in the extended if they ultimately will. Trying, they're trying to build up courage, it looks like, to talk to you. Doesn't mean they will. And I know that's hard. And I think you can feel that. Yeah, there's a level of this person having cut you out too. So, wow. But again, six of wands with the queen of wands victory with their Aries. They see it. Jeez Louise, 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Again, be careful of demonizing this person, Aries, okay? All right, I'm going to get into the extended now um, and see, is this person, this person's like, am I going to reach out? Am I going to talk to Aries? 
I love them. I see a victory with them. I am crazy about them, but then they're also a little hard to talk to. Is Aries going to beat me up? And it's like, well, Aries, maybe you might beat them up. So maybe they have a reason to feel this way. <laughs> so get out of this energy too. This is not helping. Okay, my beautiful Aries. I love you guys so much, but we tend to give in to this very, very easily, myself included. All right. And it's so funny because I had a Sagittarius ex accuse me of liking to fight. I'm like, no, you like to fight. And, and I'm like, damn, I think we both like to fight sometimes. All right. So recognize that in yourself and don't give in. That's your shadow self being like, come on, come on. And you don't, you don't need that. All right. <laughs> it's not helpful. <laughs> All right, Aries. I love you guys. This is why I love you guys, though, because... We never intentionally hurt anybody, but at the same time, our passion and our fire, especially if you have more than one fire placement in your chart, it consumes us sometimes. So, all right. I love you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I hope to see you over on Ribbon for the Extended. Will they? Won't they? We'll see. <laughs> Bye, guys.